All right, what's up, everybody? It's D. Hello. Um, my friend Mike saw the paintings that I just did. I did two yesterday, and I just finished one. So I'm going to do the last one um, of this series. Um, so he really liked it and asked, how, do I do, how did I do it? So I'm going to show you quickly how I did those. Um, I didn't plan on doing a video, so I had already mixed my paint and poured it in the cup and I've already laid a white uh, coat of paint on top. So I'm just gonna get to it. This is gonna be a really quick video. So see, I already mixed up my paint and I'm just gonna pour. So I'm gonna start off with a straight pour and then I'm gonna go into a ring pour. This is a straight pour and then now I'm going into a ring pour. I have some gold in here, I have a dark denim, I have a gray, I have a silver, I have a turquoise, I'm turning, um, white of course, and a metallic blue. So this is a ring pour. almost done you get your finger and you just do that so put the cup to the side take a look in there all right so then I torch it to pop any bubbles um, you won't really be able to see all the little speckles on camera but the bubbles are popping and they're making these cute little speckles. All right, so after that, lift up your canvas. And you go around in a circle. You're not trying to go over the edges. I'm not trying to go over the edges. So... And you're just moving it around. And I'm going to come back to the middle. I think I'm going to come on this end here. You just run it over the edge. Make sure the ends are done. Bring it back down. I'm going to come over to this corner here. Bring it back up to the middle. I'm going to bring it back down to this side. corner and bring it back to the middle and bring it down to this corner towards me and set it down for a sec take a look at it see what I like see what I want to do then I'm going to bring this up towards you guys because I want this white to be most dominant. Can you see that paint running down? And I'm going to come down this way. <clears throat> Okay, I think I like that the way it is. 
So I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to clean off my hands really quickly. I'll be right back. So the next part of this is I have some broken glass and I just put it in a baggie and crush it up some more with the hammer and then I'm just gonna go in and put some broken glass on the painting oh sorry before I was supposed to do that I put the torch Again, for torching is um, to pop up air bubbles and it gives a cute little effect. Again, those cute little speckles will come up as you're popping bubbles. All right. So now I'm gonna take the glass. And I'm just sprinkling them around. And after I finish doing this, I'm going to show you guys the other ones that I've done. I did one, one more before I did this one, and then I did two yesterday. So this is a four-piece um, artwork. And as you all know, they're all for sale. Almost done with the broken glass. Make sure to get close to the ends. And make sure I have enough. Alright, so after this, I'm gonna pick up the camera and show you guys. So this is the finished work. And then I'm gonna show you the ones I just did yesterday and earlier today. So those are the other three pieces. This is the one I just did uh, earlier today, well, a few minutes ago. And I did this one yesterday. And I did that one yesterday. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.